Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you July 3rd. It's a Wednesday today. Fourth of July is tomorrow in the U.S. Many, many Americans will be taking uh, this week off, so expect lower volumes and some more lackluster ranges. I feel like yesterday we should have profited a bit more on the gap fills in dollar yen and in gold. Um, but alas, that has is now that trade is now over, and we'll have to look for something new today. Uh, the main thing on my mind today is uh, bond yields in the U.S. just crushed. Here's the ten-year, one ninety-five five, thirty-year, two fifty. 250 for 30 year risk in the US. That's just astounding. If we throw the weeklies up, we can see this still can go lower. Back in 2017, went to 209. So there's there's still some more exaggeration uh, that can happen here. But um, just astounding. Uh, 10 year at 195, also astounding. A lot of red bars there. First minor support, 188, still seven basis points away. Um, this is creating some negativity in the dollar space. Nothing huge, obviously nothing's really going on here, but dollar yen took the brunt, so dollar yen filled the gap yesterday uh, through 108.10. And so here was the gap here, 108.10, closed it, 107.93, but then continued um, in Asia overnight, 56. This looks set to continue lower today. We do not want to fade this. Um, we were overly cautious up at 108.50. We should have been more aggressive sellers up there, but such is life. Um, we're not going to chase it. We're not going to sell low ones and chase this down here, but this looks pretty negative. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to drive it today. U.S. has challenger and mortgage applications. Just got to watch yields. Yields are going to be the key um, key metric here for dollar yen. Euro. A lot of talk about Christy Lagarde as being the next ECB chair. I'm not sure what that means. She's she's a little bit unorthodoxed. Um, we're still a few months away from this, so I'm not gonna. I don't think this is gonna have a massive effect on um, on what's gonna happen here in euro dollar. But something we need to sort of dig into what it means uh, if Christine takes the chair. Indecision day yesterday in euro. Looks like we're probably going to have to head lower. We've got the um, services PMI today. So we've got Spain in an hour, Italy, hour and a half, and then France and Germany just after Italy before 9 o'clock uh, CET. Don't expect these to be too good. Uh, so short euro, same as yesterday. We're not going to. We're not going to chase low ones on this. We don't. We don't expect massive momentum, but core short euro looks okay. The problem with core short euro, of course, is U.S. yields um, are getting whacked. So there's a bit of tug of war here. It's this isn't any kind of conviction trade. Um, I think we're just going to sort of step aside a little bit this morning and just play the cards that are dealt with these uh, services PMIs. Um, and see how that goes. Let's take a look at our friend Aussie back up around the figure. Um, we still like core short here. It would be nice if we could get some risk off action, but with gold, with gold cruising higher and U.S. rates um, getting smoked, this trade looks, you know, the logic of this trade is weaker. So hopefully you have a pretty good average here. Uh, the sensible thing to do would just be to stick your stop above this 70.35. Um, 
Obviously, nothing happened overnight. Eighty-five, ninety-nine. Um, but we're going to stick with this, and hopefully, euro dollar heading lower will drag Aussie lower, um, and then we'll have to make a decision on Friday at non-farms as to how close we are to stops and what we're going to do with this. So we're we're sticking with the core short. Aussie, uh, but we are recognizing that the way things are playing out this week, the logic of this trade is is slightly weaker. Let's look at cable getting hammered. Um, UK services PMI today. You know, I'm not really sure what to do with this. It looks like we're going to test this uh, these very important lows here, which is 125.08. Uh, my guess is just the way things are are playing out there and the way people are treating uh, Boris Johnson as the likely new head of the government, this is going to continue lower. Um, and 125.08 seems to be in the cards. No dog in this fight, uh, no real ideas on how to make money on it today tough to trade the uh, services PMI on a Wednesday in July liquidity won't be great so we're just waiting and watching but this will be a key moment 125 so we will be on alert uh, at 125 if it's massively extended and it looks like a fade uh, we will be involved in that but more than likely we'll be waiting for a print down there and the second time through um, we will break trade that, uh, which is our favored style of trading. Cross yen weaker with this dollar yen lower, CAD yen's lower, Aussie yen's lower, Kiwi yen's lower. Nothing really to write home about. Um, and gold just ripped yesterday. Stopped everyone out on the way down there. 1385. I think a lot of people were. We're waiting down there at 1365, as we spoke about on Monday. Um, those are going to be some lonely, lonely bids down there um, that are never going to get filled now. Surely this breaks 1442 and just keeps ripping higher, especially if we get a weak non-farms. Um, this has caught people. People got stopped. What we would call weekends are now have now been stopped. Gaps were filled. Um, this is just a this is an old-fashioned break trade now through um, through 1442. Keep in mind these are gold futures. This isn't cash gold, so the prices are slightly different. Um, anyway, there's gold. So we've got a lot. Of, we've got a little bit of tug of war on dollar higher, dollar dollar lower today. So we're going to keep it pretty light for now. No huge passionate ideas this morning. Patience will be the key. We will fade um, sort of extended moves higher in Euro. Um, and that's kind of our strategy. But even that, we may not even bother. Uh, depends how things are looking. It depends how things are going. Looks like it's going to be a very, very quiet morning for us here uh, in Europe here at Privateer, uh, just because we lack, we really lack uh, any really good ideas for the session. So with that, what can I say? Kind of sucks, but this is part of the business. When you don't have great ideas, you do nothing. Hopefully uh, you guys can scratch some cash today, uh, and otherwise I will talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.